Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. This is today's The Universe Knows mug. What does it say? Embrace the moment? Oh, follow your heart. I'm actually also very sore today because... Oh, it's so good. Um, it was funny because I just finished my... Um, uh, I did Les Mills Combat this morning and I don't know why because I worked biceps last night. Um, I squeezed in like a, a bicep session after my cardio. I, I wasn't planning to do it, but since this week is still kind of not on my normal game, um, where I've told you my new plan is to do yoga Monday, Wednesday, Friday, weights Sunday, Tuesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, yesterday was Monday, and I thought, okay, since I didn't do weights on Sunday, you know, and this is still kind of like a full transition week or whatever you want to call it. Getting back to my uh, schedule, <clears throat> I wanted to do some weights last night. So I did biceps, but today as I went to go do my uh, Les Mills Combat, I was really, when we got to the end, if those, for those of you that have done it, you know what I'm talking about, where they're doing those um, badass push-ups where you do like 12 regular push-ups and then you're doing the, the kind where you have your, your hands like this and you kind of you do those kind of push-ups and then really quick, <laughs> this looks really stupid, um, but you kind of, so in other words, a regular push-up is like this and you go down and you push up, right? In, in the end of Les Mills Combat, you're doing these push-ups like that. You do 12 regular push-ups, right? And then you do these ones where you go, you go down like that. Oh, anyway, I went to do those and I'm like, God, like my chest is really hurting. You'd think I'd done a chest workout last night, but I didn't. Anyway. Just a bizarre thought, no idea why I shared it. Anyway, as I mentioned when I shot my vlog yesterday, here's my little list of things I'm gonna talk about. And since yesterday, I shot my video about the scale, which was quite long. There was a reason for that, because that's kind of a big topic for a lot of people. Um, today, I'm going to talk about this uh, portion um, portion control thing, which it's it's not necessarily just the concept of portion control, but this moment of clarity I had when I was making something to eat the other day, um, and I thought I would share it with you because the more that you can change, you guys, the reason I, I've had so much success this year versus the past two years or, or whatever is because, you know, I'm, I'm taking the time to change habits. I'm taking the time to recognize things that have impeded my progress before. Um, sometimes it's hard to realize those things about yourself. Like, wow, how stupid was it that, you know, I used to pout and not work out because I didn't like how I looked in my workout clothes. You're not going to get where you like how you look in your workout clothes if you don't work out and you just sit and bitch about, oh, I don't want to put my pants on or, you know, I don't want to do abs because I don't like how when I crunch my stomach, I can see that, you know, I have rolls on my stomach. Those rolls aren't going to go away unless you actually do something. So when you realize how stupid some of the idiosyncrasies are that you have, you can take steps to, to change them. And, and one of the things that I think a lot of people have, um, that works against them is this attitude about, oh, if, I, if I'm gonna lose weight, if I'm gonna get in, in really good shape, um, I'm not gonna be able to eat anything I like, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut out everything I love, um, I'm only gonna be able to eat grilled chicken, and I'm gonna be hungry all the time. You have all these preconceived notions, especially maybe if you're just starting, you know, and you're kind of used to eating you know, bad food, like say you're going out to eat all the time, you're going to happy hour, yada, yada, yada. Um, one of the things that's happened as, as I've progressed is um, I've realized in the past, of course you guys know this, I've shared with you a lot, I would so severely diet um, and be you know, in this extreme mindset of like, this is it, this is what I'm doing, I'm not gonna eat anything, no carbs, no sugar, no diet soda, you know, and I go so hardcore you know, in my head that all I was thinking about was, number one, how plain and bland and diet the food was that I was eating and all the stuff that I wanted to have on my cheat day because all I was doing was focusing on what I didn't have versus the fact that there are billions and billions of food combinations of really healthy food that I like and I enjoy and I can, 
you know, achieve my, my leaner body weight and, my, and improve my physique on, okay? When you focus on what you don't have, that becomes a, a bit of an obsession. Furthermore, you won't even realize it, but if you really start changing the way you eat and changing your habits, uh, your appetite will change. And my appetite has changed a lot. You guys know, I've said this before, before I started training with Michael, I was like, oh. if you ask me, I would rather, honestly, this is gonna sound completely unhealthy. I would rather get up in the morning, just have coffee, not eat, have like a big lunch, and then have hardly anything the rest of the day, or, or have a few snacks and that's it. If I could eat however I wanted, that is how I, it's easy with my schedule. I, I don't know, it's just, it, it's easier for me to have like one main meal a day, um, you know, some snacks or whatever, and to not really focus on breakfast or, or whatever. That's always been my thing in the past. Now, we all know that's not uh, an ideal way to eat. It's also certainly not an ideal way to eat if you want to be building muscle, you know. And whoever it is that wrote on my video the other day, like, and you know, taking my video and going at minute one point two two, you said this. I haven't even read your comments, but <laughs> they sounded really anal. So I'm sorry that you feel that I'm so you know not flexing the right way or whatever. But I don't take myself that seriously. <laughs> um, anyway, <sighs> my appetite has changed so much as I've switched into this. You know, eating breakfast, eating three hours later, eating three hours later. I, I really had a little bit of a bad attitude about it and I didn't really you know, want to do it, but now I've gotten used to doing that to some degree. There still is a time, Michael and I talk about this all the time, I'm like, you know, when it gets past two o'clock, I really have to almost force myself to eat because really all I want to do is have like a Starbucks coffee and maybe a salad and, and I just don't want to have, you know, I told him, I'm like, Ugh. You know, this is when I don't want to have a lot of protein and I'm not really like that hungry. However, I know that I need to and that's what helps build, you know, the guns and the muscle and, and if, if that's what you want to do, you have to feed the muscle, okay? Now, I went to go make something to eat the other day and it was those, um, you, I think I, sh I shared them in my video yesterday. This was such a moment of clarity for me. You know when you start to watch what you eat, and if you're new at this, all of a sudden you, you know, and you should do this, you should start measuring things. It's very easy if you're, if you're just starting down a, down a fitness journey or whatever, and you, you have been somebody that's accustomed to getting up in the morning and you have a big bowl of cereal. And then you start paying attention to the fact that, wow, this big bowl of cereal that I have is technically, according to the box, you know, three servings, and then I'm using, you know, regular full fat milk. And, you know, this bowl of cereal that I thought was just a healthy breakfast is actually 700 calories. If you think I'm joking, look up your average, you know, cup of cereal. Your average, you know, not crazy healthy cereal is easily, if, it, you know, it'll say for a half a cup. Do you know how much a serving is? A half a cup is like that much. Nobody has a half a cup of cereal. And then if you add milk to that, blah, 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 blah. So maybe you're, you're starting down this fitness journey and you're starting to pay attention to portion sizes and you're measuring. You're using your teaspoon. You're using, you know, when I first started making my cup of coffee and I added the real cream, I would actually measure out the teaspoon or the tablespoon, excuse me. Now I can pretty much eyeball it. And since I'm not, you know, and so I'm liking my results, I don't really take out the tablespoon anymore because I know what the coffee looks like when I put it in. But when you use things like, I was making these Morning Star Buffalo Wings, okay? They're, they're in the freezer. I don't know why I'm pointing there like it matters to you. Morning Star Buffalo Wings, and a serving is five of those. So I put that in the microwave, and then I like to, to dip that in. Um, I get low-cal ranch. I don't get fat-free ranch. I get low-cal ranch. So it's like, you know, 80 calories for two tablespoons. And I'm looking at the ranch thing. This is exactly what went through my mind. Looking at the ranch thing, and I'm like, oh, two tablespoons, 80 calories. I, I'm not going to be able to have just two tablespoons. Like, so in my mind, I'm already going, this is not going to be enough. I'm going to need to have two. And I'm like, okay, Kelly, just measure it out. Here's the thing that happened that's so funny. 
I was looking at the serving size on the ranch dressing and I'm like, I'm never going to be satisfied with just two tablespoons. I'm going to need to have two and then that's an extra 150 calories plus the 200. You know, like this very quickly, this meal is, is growing into bigger calories, bigger fat gram, you know, whatever. It's big picture. Don't worry. I'm not looking to have a no fat diet. The point is, I measured out my two tablespoons of um, of ranch dressing on on the um, on the plate. I ended up only having half of that, and I I mean I had what I wanted. I wasn't trying to have half of it. I had convinced myself that I was going to need to measure out two more tablespoons, but I'm like, just put it on there and see what you have. So here I cut up my my five pieces of my you know Morning Star whatever it is, the buffalo wings, and I had it. I might have even had a little bit more than five. But all I'm saying is my mind was looking at that bottle going, there's no way that's going to be enough. I'm not going to enjoy it. And I put it on the plate and I only ended up having half of it. So have a better attitude, I guess is the point of this video about portions. Um, as you're starting to, to cut portions, you're going to think in the beginning, I'm never going to be satisfied. That's not going to be enough. You're really going to surprise yourself. In the beginning, if you've been eating a lot and you start to cut back, yeah. You know, you're going to find yourself wanting, but trust that your body's going to change. Right now, we were eating dinner last night, and I had a salad and some beets and like half of a, a you know, big, huge steak. So it's, you know, probably about this much steak. And I was stuffed, absolutely stuffed. And I'm not one of those people that's like, oh yeah, I have a few bites of lettuce and I'm stuffed. I'm not like that. I like to eat, okay? Trust yourself, have an open mind about portion sizes, and, and that's it. Watch your portion sizes. Talk to you guys tomorrow.